Sagittarius, you are doing very well. Keep going, stay focused and manage the flux. I want to talk about flux like in and out, yin and yang, up and down, ebbs and flow. I'm looking at a spiral and I'm looking at speed. You are spinning out really, really quickly. It doesn't feel like a negative thing or in regards to mental health. It feels like a self-mastery of creativity. You're learning to be creative again. You're learning to design, create. You could be doing stuff on Instagram. You could be policed or blocked or under some kind of sanction by Instagram. You know they do a lot of um, blocking and restrictions of your account when you do something too much. So you could be, watch your account on Instagram, you could be getting restricted for something that you're doing a bit too much. You're moving too fast or doing too much of something or sometimes if you say something they don't like and your video gets flagged too many times, they'll block you. But you are waiting for something magical to happen after a real period of healing and you're just going into an energy of nothing to see here i've got nothing to speak about i've got nothing to do i'm gonna stay quiet focus on myself and stay humble and work on my gifts and my heart and my mental health and my emotional well-being okay so whatever you're doing it gives me more influencer energy it's quite um independent and um, it could be into beauty and fashion. It could be makeup, eyebrows, eyes, lips, uh, makeup tutorials. It could be reels on Facebook. You know, some people make uh, Facebook um, videos and it's like the most annoying video because it makes you watch for 10 minutes to see them reveal something that they don't even reveal at the end or they reveal it at the end and it's an anti-climax. It's like long form content loves Facebook reels and it's just ridiculous it's like who is on Facebook and what community is Facebook it really sums Facebook up that these Facebook videos that go viral these F Facebook reels are so ridiculously boring it's like oh I've got a cake here and I'm gonna lift this ri rim off around the cake and you're gonna watch all the icing drip down I filled all the icing around the rim why is the video 10 minutes for you to do that? Oh, watch, watch, slowly it's gonna happen. Oh, oh, 10 hours you're waiting for them to lift the ring off a cake. And they've the 10 hours to put the sprinkles on it, 10 hours to pour the liquid on it. On TikTok, that's getting done in 30 seconds. 10 seconds, 20 seconds. On Facebook, that's a 10 minute video. And it's so anti-climax, climactic because at the end you're looking like really really like I, I, I just skip to the end just to see what what is this like there's some people I follow they're on YouTube they make me laugh they're a couple but they do it all the time and they talk about why they do it as well but it's ridiculous it's just clickbait 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 it's just a way to make money understand that social media isn't a place to be really really social and loving and kind it's a place to make money it's a financial marketplace right and knowing that is very very important in current day with the way that tech's going you know everything that's already out there is very designed for money and gimmicks yeah so i see you diving in to a rebirth whatever happened in the past it wasn't working so if you were doing something on social media because i kind of get social media i kind of get online i kind of get in your personal life to be honest i get more personal life i get a little bit online a little bit on facebook i feel like you needed protection from something and something was going on uh, where you're being monitored or watched or observed or whatever that is but the truth of the matter is with the king of swords you had to learn to be uh, more sensible more articulate learn something and um a lot of emotions in the past you risky emotions that you had and you were trying to be a lot more um, happy and positive but there were emotions that were unresolved so I see you really working for emotions this could be something that you're doing online blog posting diary entries journaling there are some things that you don't want to speak about there are some things you don't want to bring up some emotions that are triggersome or some things that you're working on that you don't want to address but the truth is balance is really really important for you as you move forward and the two of cups is here saying that there's a really beautiful relationship could be in business could be in partnership could be a job you could be getting a job um somewhere locally like at a coffee shop or something like that because now i see this coffee shop and um like some people that you're kind of serving so i don't know if that's your energy or something that you're walking into because it could kind of be like a um 
I say a setup, but some kind of um Okay, well, interesting, it's like showcase your skills. So maybe you're using the space for something in, in a kind of coffee shop and you're being asked to showcase your spill, sh skills or you're attending a showcase. But from that, there could be an opportunity where you connect with other people and get a job. Or you could just be a barista and um, you're doing an incredible job at that and you're getting um, oh, a barista that does um, TikToks. Facebook Reels? Are you a barista who is filming yourself? I think that's a good idea. Loads of people do that on um, Reels. But I'm just saying, okay, just a, just a barista sounds a little bit rude, but it's because I can see you doing other stuff in relation to social media and in your life. So that, that, how many other jobs you've got going on or what your main career path is, I don't think you've entirely found yet because you're building some kind of brand or niche, working on your emotional health and healing. But it looks like a really nice showcase and um, you showcasing your skills. Maybe you're filming at the back of different places. Maybe you go to this place every now and then to film. I'm not too sure, it looks really incredible and awesome though. And there's some kind of barista job um, where you're making content from behind the scenes and it's really, really cool. And um, it's really, really healing. So this is a really kind of nice job that you have working at this kind of um, coffee shop, it feels like. And um, I think you're just getting more comfortable with um, interesting energy. I keep saying because um, I'm pulling cards at the same time. Um, again, because there's a conversation that's coming out of this that's going to lead to more money. Okay. I haven't got a time frame on any of this and we've jumped around so take this as it resonates because we've spoken about social media, your role on that and then some kind of job that you have um, filming behind the scenes and as you film behind the scenes it looks like over time there's going to be an opportunity for more money whatever you're speaking about whatever you're unveiling whatever you're creating in regards to content it shows that it's going to open up into a bigger thing and you're going to make more money from this so making more money from social media by revealing something or working on something partnering with someone in business and it could be related to some kind of um, coffee shop or barista or some showcase event that you put on. It looks really, really positive. It looks like something related to social media and it looks like something that you're gonna have to do slowly over time as you heal from whatever stuff happened in your past in previous business situations. Cause it looks like you're juggling a lot of different stuff in business and you just need to ground it back down, clear your mental health and emotional well-being, and then go back at it again with a clear strategic plan and um, really smart goals on how you're gonna move forward in this. But it looks really good, it looks really positive and you're doing really well, Sagittarius, keep going, okay? Love and light.